Hello everybody and you're welcome. So today I'm going to start a new tutorial series about EasyPublish 5 development. So in this tutorial series I'll show how to work with Twig templates and uh, Symfony 2, uh, like uh, Symfony routing controllers and uh, views and then I'll talk about uh, the Easy Publish public API, so the PHP API, etc. So in the last tutorial, if you are following my tutorial series, um, I created a custom environment and uh, it basically shows an um, Easy Publish uh, clean site. So I imported the the Easy Publish Schema, Database Schema, and the, the Clean Data. It has basically just the root node content, some basic classes, one user, actually the administrator user, and that is it, basically. And we end up with this um, custom environment here, which basically just displays the content in the in that node for that node in this case the root node so now we are going to start our easy publish 5 development series and uh, before we start we need to configure our environment for developing for development so we need to check our uh, apache virtual host config file and uh, set those variables just like this and I'll do that now so let me check this here I need to change this set uh, um, this variable here use the bugging so I set to 1 and um, this use HTTP cache as set to zero and uh, these two uh, configurations here I'll just uncomment because I want the dev uh, this custom host to be a dev environment so that is it basically for this file and uh, I believe uh, Everything is okay now, so we can start developing Easy Publish 5 in this environment here, the custom environment. So now uh, I basically said that we are not going to use HTTP cache and uh, I said that we are going to use the debug feature. So that is it. Now we need to restart Apache. to restart and uh, we have restarted the Apache now we are able to to start doing stuff here and we do not need to clear the cache every time we do some changes in this uh, page layout here so like I'm going to change this page layout and just refresh this page here and that is it the change is already applied there so we are ready to start the development here next in this tutorial series i'm going to start talking about the page layout and the content area so we have here our page layout it just displays the content for that node but uh, it's just too simple we, we could just uh, start in creating some uh, basic HTML structure here. So I'm going to copy this content here and paste it here and that is it. So it has a basic HTML structure and it displays the content and now we will have a title um, reload word here. So let's check again our site and uh, it's basically the same, but if we, we check the source code, we will notice that there is that basic HTML structure there. 
for us and uh, yeah uh, also it's showing the symphony uh, toolbar here in my slideshow I said that I couldn't find the one way to to show to make the profile toolbar appears but that's not true now because uh, the toolbar will appear when we have a basic HTML structure so I'm going to remove this and also um, I'm going to make this slideshow available because now I'm just using the Google Drive and I'll put a link to the to this slide in the video description so don't worry um, I'll make all this available in the video description so you will be able to just copy this code as I'm doing now and uh, then I'm just going to create a new content here a new folder just uh, to show you how that content area uh, works so I'm going to change this short description here and uh, I'll put test and I'll just send for publish and uh, here uh, you can notice that uh, if we put slash folder we can access this content here in the new admin uh, interface site access actually if we are here we can just put like this and we are going to access that uh, content here and you will notice here that uh, that content area just displays the content for that uh, folder we have just created so it displays the folder name and the folder short description in this area here and the title is the same because uh, I will, we will work with this title later so basically that is it we have a basic HTML structure and uh, we have here some tweak code uh, Twig template code, so the Twig template code starts uh, like this brackets and percent or brackets brackets and that is it that is Twig template code and we can use uh, the Twig template inside uh, HTML files so now I'm going to show you how to add style sheets in our Twig template files. So we have uh, two ways to add style sheets. We can use uh, this asset asset function here and we pass the path to the CSS file or to our asset that is inside this folder here um, web so if we pass bundles and uh, like two tables here css and the css file here it will include that file but we can also include several files instead of just one using this notation here and just pay attention i mentioned this in one tutorial and uh, if we pass the path like this uh, you will not be able to overwrite this file later uh, but if we use this notation here we will be able to overwrite this file if we extend this bundle so um, let's do this first I have uh, downloaded the, the bootstrap here in my let me check this extension here so I have my extension that I have created in the last tutorial the custom bundle and um, I have it here in resource public CSS I have it downloaded the bootstrap and the font awesome uh, zip so I'm just going to the compress this file to extract this file here in this folder public folder here so yeah I have extracted and uh, I'm also going to do the same 
with font awesome uh, extract and yeah now I have both uh, folders with uh, bootstrap and the font also so I'm going to rename this file here to this folder here to bootstrap and rename it out refactory and this I'm going to rename it to just oh crap just font awesome font awesome Naming that refactory. So basically, that is it. Now I have uh, extracted uh, both uh, zip files in my project. But now, before we can use these to code here, like before we can include these files in our twin templates here. We need to use uh, the assets install and the asset keep done. Assets install will copy basically all the files here in our public folder to web bundles and the name of the bundle. Like uh, in, to take custom, it will have then the bootstrap uh, new folder and the font awesome new folder. Here. So I'm going also to delete this zip file here and delete also this zip file here and when I run here php easy publish console assets two points install it will copy these files uh, let me refresh here Um, actually, uh, I believe uh, I can check this in my file system here. So, to take custom CSS, oh, it, it uh, didn't copy uh, because I need to change the environment. Because if I mean, I need to specify the environment because that custom bundle is set just for the custom environment not the dev environment and in this project the dev environment is the default environment so now we have uh, that css files um, check here yeah now we have it here the css file actually it's not showing our project yet because uh, it needs to refresh and uh, let me check if i can refresh here there is no refresh option here, so I don't know. Um, let me check if there is one refresh. And there is no refresh option. So yeah, actually in the next uh, time I open uh, NetBeans it will show there. But we can check that in our file system here, it's already appearing. So we need to run assets install with the env custom environment defined and uh, see if, uh, the easy publish will copy these public files that we have here to these uh, web bundles and uh, to pay custom css and images etc to this here so all the folders here in public like css images and js will be copied here Next, we need also to run asset key dump. And the asset key dump will compile our CSS files and, um, and uh, JavaScript. So now we can use this. And if you want more information about assets install and asset dump, you can uh, visit those two, two links here. So you have more information about those functions. So now we can start including our CSS files there. Um, yeah, I believe uh, that is it. Everything will be okay. Let me just uh, 
put those three code here in this head HTML tag inside the head tag. So I also need to put this in a new line. Oh, I'm uh, almost forgetting. We need to create this page layout.css file here in our project. So I'm going to create it inside resources, public, CSS. I'm going to create a new cascade in style sheet. So page layout. And uh, yeah, so now we have the page layout CSS and uh, we can run these two commands again and check if uh, our files, if our HTML code is okay. So now we can see here that uh, it's okay here and uh, so the bootstrap has been included here and the, the font also is, has been included as well and the page layout also has been included and the, our page layout is blank so basically it's working so this is how we include CSS files and um, then we can start uh, also including our JavaScript. So in this tutorial, I'll just create one JavaScript file here, just for example. So I'll go here in my code, in my project, and in the public resource, public JS folder, I'm going to create a new JavaScript file called named the page, page, actual page, so it will also be a blank JavaScript file. And uh, I'll include this code in the bottom here. Before the slash by. So I'm going to put this code here. And now after we run these two commands here we'll be able to check our HTML code again and see that uh, our page GS uh, JavaScript file has been included here so for our first tutorial that is it so we have uh, learned uh, how to start doing some tweak template codes and uh, I have shown how to include uh, resource files in two ways using like this uh, using this asset tweak function or include style sheets like this and JavaScript like this just keep in mind that in the JavaScript you could just use something like this here as well so that is it I will continue in the next tutorial and uh, see you guys, bye bye.